everyone and happy Monday. We have a very detailed page to do today. I've been pondering for quite a while to be honest about what to do with this particular picture as there is such a lot of tiny detail. I still haven't completely decided. What I have decided is to grab my Ergo Softs. Um, I think they have the nice sharp point that we're going to need for all these little details and what I thought I would do is to show you how I'm going to approach the page having no plan. I'm going to start, my first decision is not to use every single colour. I think keeping a limited colour palette is going to help us. It not only will it speed the colouring process up but it will help bring everything together a little bit and not make it look quite so random. I'm going to start with greens. There are leaves through the page and I'm going to do those first. Um, I'm going to do them with you. So I'm going to start with the number 50. This is quite a pale green. Um, I think that's what I want. Um, I'm just going to give it a sharpen. And I'm just going to go through the whole page colouring all the leaves. And that's where I'm going to start. And I'm just going to sort of see where it takes me really. Um, I've decided also that all the flowers will be the same colour, but which colour I do not know yet. I'm just trying to work out what bits are leaves and what bits are stem here. I'm not doing any shading on this, you know, any difference in pressure or extra layers or anything because it's such a fine little plant here. I'm just filling in those green areas you could spend a lot longer but to be honest I think if I spend too long on each little element I'll get bored of the page before it's finished and although I'll finish it because I always do I might run out of enthusiasm are we wonky probably um, so even on this little picture here I'm still gonna do the green bits of leaf like that and then on this sort of rose. Now there's a lot of glass on this page which is um, interesting. Um, I have done glass videos before and shown you how I do glass um, but when it's quite small like this it's you take quite a simple approach really. Um, I think it's better to just keep it you know, just a, I think I'm going to just use a bit of a grey pencil on it, something like that. I'm just making sure you can still see where I'm at. Because I haven't zoomed in too far, but obviously um, I have zoomed in a fair bit. I'm just going to tuck the page behind the book a bit easier for me. Let's move along as well. There we go. So... I think with this sort of page, this sort of methodical approach, it helps me. Some people, I think, would like to do the first item, then the second item, then the third item. But for me, I find doing all the green, all the blue, all the pink, whatever, for me, works a little bit better. But it's sort of, um, you know, it's a very individual thing. Also, background, I think... I'm trying to remember what I did when I did this page in the main book. This is from World of Flowers. Um, I think I might have done... I did some stripy wallpaper on one page. I can't remember if it's this page, though. Mm, is that leaves on there? Let's do it as leaves. Why not? And these are half half through. Let's go across while I think about it get worried about leaving you behind. I've done it many, many times though, haven't I? Oh, while I'm colouring away, if you're just watching, not I'm um, colouring along, please remember to hit the subscribe button. Um, I keep forgetting to ask, so I'm just doing it now while I remember. And uh, also to remind you that I have lots of other, I have lots of social media accounts if you want to follow me in other places. So I have Facebook and Instagram, um, which are my sort of main ones, I guess. But I also have um, Reddit, Pinterest, and I'm on TikTok. 
I was fiddling around with TikTok this morning, putting a few things up on there. Um, this is my main channel though, but if you want to see completed pictures, um, sometimes you get to see them before my completed pages video comes out, so on um, particularly on my Facebook page. Sometimes there are a few early sneak peeks. Um, what else have I got to say? Oh, I've got a website with some blog articles on it and um, it's I've got a newsletter, that's right, I meant blank then, I knew there was something else. And I have my Kofi shop which has um, lots of free stuff in it, it's all free actually, um, charts, colour comparison charts, swatch charts, that sort of thing, as well as some step-by-step -step tutorials with photos, um, things like that. So I'm all over the place. I'm spamming the internet, I guess. <laughs> but uh, It's just all part of um, trying to spread the word about colouring, really, trying to reach out to as many people as possible. Um, I think because I find it so beneficial, I sort of want to give other people the chance to discover it and see if they find it beneficial too. It's been so long since I recorded a video. I've always forgotten how to do it. And so children have been off on their um, Easter break and uh, I've been sort of supervising their study. I'm trying, I'm, I know that I've probably already missed a few leaves. You know, I'm probably missing more as I go. But anyway, you know what I'm like. It's not like I'm going to forget which colour I used. Um, yeah, so I've been helping them a little bit. Um, try, well, not been helping them at all. I've just been trying to encourage them to concentrate and stuff. So, uh, haven't been recording. I've really missed it. But it's nice to sort of be back doing a little bit. And I've got a new book to do a flip through of, which um, I'm going to do after I finish this little batch of videos. Might not be today, actually. Um, and... Uh, what else have I got to show you? Um, just trying to work out here what's leaf and what's petal. It doesn't matter that much. Um, yeah, I've got and some downloads to show you as well. That'll sort of take us through this week, I think. Well, a little bit through anyway, because this page is not going to be just a one video. Let's have a look. I think this. Yeah, I. I think those are probably petals in there, not leaves. I've got a few plants down here and I wonder how plants grow in jars with lids on. Must be some little holes in the lid. I think um, terrariums always have um, holes in them somewhere, don't they? Let's move that across, there we go. I'm sure um, I'm sure the, the plants look nice and healthy. Maybe we shouldn't be questioning how they're growing. It's very rainy here today. I uh, it's been quite sunny. I was going to record yesterday in the sun. The time that I was going to do it, the sun was right across the desk here. And although I could have shut the blind, I just decided to just leave it and do it today instead and um, usually at this time of the morning the sun isn't quite across the desk yet anyway but it's there's no sunshine today so it's been very funny weather here we had two days of hailstorms which was quite fun and then um i think those are seeds those are leaves and then we had a really sunny day and now it's raining again it's just the strange is weather. Okay, that's all the green, I think. I'm going to put the pencil aside and I'll probably need to grab it again as I go back through. I'm going to do the flowers next. Um, I'm going to do them pink, I think. it's The page is quite whimsical. I think pink is a good colour. Um, I think it'll make it look pretty. I'm going to use the number 20. It doesn't really matter what pink you use. And again, with the flowers, I'm not going to do anything too amazing. 
I'm just going to block them in. You could um, make them more than one shade of pink or let's just hold that page down. It's going to keep flipping up um, or make them a little bit darker at the top or the bottom or right or the left or whatever you might want to do. But uh, I really just want to keep it nice and simple. As I said, because there's so much detail, it can look like such a daunting page. I'm going to do the flower middles in the same colour. I just, I had thought, you know, I could do them yellow, but I didn't think yellow would really necessarily work with the page. And then I thought, well, I could do them um, purple, but I think I'm going to, there's a, a leaf there. I'm going to do the pots purple, I think. So I don't think it'll work. I'm going to sort of stick to the sort of purple, blue, pink, I think. That's my sort of thought as I'm working along the page. But we'll see how it pans out. I may change my mind. So uh, we'll see. But I think keeping it to a limited few colours is going to be the key to making it a bit easier less daunting, more fun and hopefully looking good all at the same time. There we go. Yeah, I've been doing a few um, more colour charts this week as well, which are in my Kofi shop. Um, there's a link in my description to all my social media, my website, my newsletter and my Kofi shop. Um, I did a few and then people asked for a few and then I had a few more ideas so they're all there to download for free. Things like um, all the Stedler colour names for these because this, this, these only have numbers on. So I found out the names of them. See this is number 20. If you look in the right place on the Stedler website you can find out this is called Magenta. But um, it's not that easy to find, spot it so I made a little chart of actually all the Stedler colours, so not just the 36 Ergosofts, but actually, I think there's, I think there's 72, I think. So um, I made a list of them all. And then um, I started doing other charts as well, because people seem to like them. My latest was Poly Prisma. Now, when I started off colouring, I wanted to do Chris Chang tutorials, but I only had Poly Chromos and she always uses Prisma colour. So I really wanted to chart which said which polys were the same. So Colour with Claire has got an amazing chart where she does that. But where there is no match, she doesn't have anything. So for example, um, a sort of deco peach or deco pink or whatever. There's no peaches in peach colours in polychromos. So there was really no match. So she sort of, I don't think she put one. I can't really remember what her, I haven't looked at her chart for quite a while. So I was sort of had to then just find my next nearest. So what I really wanted was a chart with like the nearest, even though they weren't that close, if you know what I mean. So that's what I made. So for every single Prismacolor, I've found what I think is the nearest polychromos. Now, I noticed Miss Martley has been doing similar charts and what she has done, which is quite ingenious, is mixed several together so she gets a really spot on match. But I decided, because what I'd always wanted was a really simple one. Um, oh, hang on. Let's do this one up here. With just the nearest one pencil match. I thought that's what I would do. And it's a bit different to hers, but hers, you know, you go and have a look at hers. Um, it's in her Kofi shop, um, Miss Martley, and her tutorials are really amazing as well. So go and have a look at her. But um, I only discovered this after I did mine and thought, oh, isn't she? She's fab. But um, mine's just slightly different, and I think that's good. We don't all want to have the same thing, do we? So it's there for you. And you may not agree with my matches. You might think, well, actually, I think that she says this is the indigo blue is the closest match. But I actually think the helio blue reddish is closer or whatever it might be, which is absolutely fine. It's not always that easy, you know, to, to get it right. 
but what I try to do is think about if say I was doing a picture and that was being used that colour I might not necessarily I need to think about what sort of hues are within that colour so that it doesn't change the colour massively if you understand what I mean so for example say there was a pink like that a really pastely pink um, which was slightly salmony I wouldn't want to match that with a um, sort of salmon pink that was really intense and dark I'd want to try and match it with the sort of lighter type one so it didn't so it didn't make the picture look really really different I'm finding it hard to explain what I'm talking about but anyway I just did what I thought would work and uh, hopefully it might be useful for some of you so uh, it is a PDF so you can either leave it on your screen or you can print it off and uh, you can share it with people because you know it's free so it's fine and there are what else I did a few others what I do is if I make a video with a set of pencils and I think other people might not have those pencils I try and do a little chart um, so there's something so if you're watching one of my videos and you find that you don't have that set of pencils but you have a different set and you like some equivalent colours or numbers or name, you know, pencil names then let me know and I'll see if I can come up with something I might not have, I don't have all the pencils and someone has asked me for a really good chart which I think is very useful she's saying she's got all the Castle Arts pencils, the 120 but because you can't buy them open stock she would like to ha know what the equivalents are in Arteza because you can buy Arteza open stock, albeit in boxes of three. Um, so when her castles run out, she wants to replace them with Arteza pencils, but she hasn't got the full set of Artezas to know which would be the best matches. So that was a really interesting request, which I am thinking about at the moment. I have 72 Arteza and Castles, I've got the 72 set plus a few extras from some of the um, 24 sets, so I don't have the full set of each. So, but I thought, well, maybe I could just do my best and do it with what I've got, you know. I, you know, I don't want to um, go out and buy the sets just to do it, but also I don't really need the set of full sets so it's not I've got lots of pencils and I like trying out different brands you know and I've been kindly gifted lots of them and it's it's lovely but I feel that you know I've got 72 castles I don't need a hundred and is it 120 you know so uh, that's fine so maybe I'll just do what I've with what I've got and sort of it will be helpful even though not 100% helpful hopefully it will be you know of some help so I might do that now how are we going hmm. I think we've done all the flowers I think so that's that next thing is quite a big bit oh I'm just gonna sorry I've got to wipe my nose I'm gonna do all the pots that aren't see-through in a purple. This is the number six, which is, I didn't look up the name, it's violet. And I'm going to do all the unsee through pots. So that means these sort of vases and things. Now, this one's a little bit bigger, so I feel like I can do a little bit of something with it. So I'm going to make it a little bit darker on the bottom of the sides and maybe a little bit lighter in the middle. It's going to take quite a long, take longer to do them like this. So you might want to just block them in. I'm not going to, I'm going to ignore the patterning on them though. It's just a bit too much. Uh, next one here. So um, yeah, I'm going to try and just layer it up a little bit here, make it a bit lighter in the middle. I don't know how noticeable it's going to be really. And the cup and 
coffee pot I'm going to keep it all really similar you might decide that you aren't keen on doing it all this close you know like maybe do all the pots the same but maybe do all the other knickknacks a bit different but for me this is just an easier quicker and I hope it's going to look pretty right we're to the end Maybe I should zoom out so you can see the whole shelf in one shot, I don't know. I don't want to be too far away. There's a Miss Tulip, isn't there? How many of you spotted that and shouted at the screen? <sighs> now I'm not sure what to do with these two, these three sacks and this. This I'm going to colour uh, with this. Um, I might just leave those. And now have a think. I'm trying to work out how far it goes. Pop it in there. Like that. Yeah, we'll just move across to this vase. We'll leave those. We can I might do them in this colour still, but I think probably won't. son going upstairs he said he's feeling unwell to go and check on him in a minute do the jug go back across the other way in the other direction oh, the um the the rings are getting in the way here my hand but uh, if you're doing this you can turn your book around or something your hand in a different position. Now we've got a bit of a complex one coming up because it's got this um, patterning on it. Do the lid first. And I haven't really been doing much since not filming. Then normally I might have something to tell you visited relatives over the um, Easter weekend which was nice but apart from that I think this one's glass so I'm gonna leave that for now uh, we didn't really do much we just chilled which was nice as I said I made some charts and uh, that was it really mm. the children revising um, I think these are all bottles. I like test tubes, they're fun. Uh, how far up can we go? We we'll go up to this shelf, so I'll have a look. Um, I think we'll do this vase. There we go. And then these dishes. Yeah, I've been trying to put some stuff on TikTok, but I'm not sure TikTok's the right platform for colouring, really. So, uh, mm. I put a few, I put my shorts on there because they're the right length, obviously. But I don't know. But I can't, I find it hard to use TikTok because, because I record on this camera, which is in landscape and TikToks and reels and shorts will have to be in portrait I have to turn it round so it's the wrong way I can film the other way but it seems to make sense to film this way normally for long t long videos but my shorts tend to just be my long videos either trimmed or sped up or whatever so uh, anyways We'll see. It's just um, playing around with different things, really. But really, what I find fun is doing this, not doing all the social media stuff. It's okay, but then it's part of it. But colouring is the fun bit, and teaching, which I love doing. There we go. Now we've got much going on down here. I think there's a lot of glass. 
It's got glass bottles, glass. Hmm. I can't see much more to do. Not so glass. All these are glass. All these are glass. Well, those are glass. Hmm. I think that might be it. Hmm. Yeah, I think it is. I think I'm actually going to leave it there. I know um, there's still a fair bit to do. I'm going to go and check on my son and see if he's okay. And we've done a fair bit. So uh, let's come out so you can see. So we've done that much. And we've just used those three pencils um, so far. And we're going to introduce some blues and um, things. I don't know whether we'll get finished in the next video. We may do, but we've got this... Um, furniture to do as well so I'm not sure but I'll have a little think and uh, hopefully catch up with you tomorrow with a little bit more but for now thank you so much for watching have a really lovely day and happy colouring